What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. And you see all these sneakers on the table. I copped all of these shoes off the sneakers app. So I'm gonna be giving you guys my tips and tricks on how to cop these shoes off the sneakers app. First off, I wanna say thank you guys for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe, show your boy some love. And yeah, let's get into it. So first off, I wanna say the sneakers app came out about 2015. That's when I believe it came out. And Shout out to Steve Jobs for making the iPhone, but basically Instagram was starting to take over. Instagram was only on iPhones when it first started out. And I feel like Nike wanted to get a piece of the pie. So they came out with the Nike app and just stop everybody from using bots because it wasn't really a bot software on the cell phone yet. And I also feel like with the whole reserve shoes and things like that, Nike was like, you know what, let's just get ahead of it and start the app. But Basically, that's how the app started, in my opinion, and that's why I think they came out with the app. But boom, let's get into the app. So first off, I got a story about all these shoes here on the table. Um, it's no method or anything that I'm about to tell you. It's no order. I'm gonna be all over the place, so stay tuned and stay throughout the whole video because I have tips in every shoe that you see here. So first off, I wanna say, this shoe right here, my first ever cop off the sneakers app. Pretty hyped up shoe. Um, it was honestly one of my first times trying to get a shoe off the sneakers app. So if people out there want to believe that do you have to have a new account to hit off the sneaker app, the answer would be yes. And I'm gonna give you guys a story on why I think this is true. Let's say you went to a barbershop and you went there for about five or 10 years. You've been getting the same haircut for the past five years and your barber knows you up and down. You know what I'm saying? Now you walk into the barber shop and there's a new customer there in front of you. Now, when he seen that client, he thought about it like, yo, this could be a good opportunity for me to start making some more money. It's a new client, it could be new business here. So I'm gonna hook this guy up. Now y'all basically get the same haircut, right? So when he walks out of that chair or gets out of that chair, you looking at him, you're like, yo, he really hooked up his head. Like the barber really did his thing. Like he thought to have me looking fresh for this Friday night. I'm about to go out, right? So in a new client's head, he's like, yo, this barber just hooked me up. Like I got to start coming back to this guy. He's better than my last guy and he's cheaper. Like, let me start coming here. He had to lock that in, right? So you get into the chair, you get basically the same cut, but on your way back home, you realize like, you know what? He didn't really tape on my fade how I wanted to, or he didn't really, you know what I mean? He hooked my beard up how he normally does. You know, I'm gonna hit him up and tell him like, tomorrow I'm gonna come in and he gonna hook me up. You know what I mean? He's not gonna charge me for it. He's just gonna fix it up on how I would like it, right? Now, the reason is you, you're the old customer. So they know you're gonna come back. Your barber ain't worried about him. You, your barber not worried about him. He's not worried about losing you to somebody else because he's been hooking you up for a while. You know what I mean? Now the new guy, he made sure he gave him the A1 special. You know what I'm saying? Like everything's on point, hairline on point. You know what I'm saying? Everything looking good, you know what I mean? So basically they wanna hook up that new customer. You know what I'm saying? To keep him real then, to make him make sure he comes back for more. You know what I mean? Like, oh, last time, you know what I mean? I hit, you know what I mean? I, I found this. So that's my whole method on why I believe that if you do make a new account, it will work out behind that whole story that I just gave you guys. Now, doing the same thing with the Supreme Drop, which I have a video on, telling you guys that was my first time signing up for it, and I actually got a spot in line. So I do actually believe that really works as well. So you guys should try that method out, or if you guys already been trying it out and haven't been having luck, just stay tuned and keep continuing because it's not over yet. I copped all these shoes within the past seven months, so exactly if you're gonna get a new account you do need number different numbers with different accounts and if you don't have enough numbers or don't have phones laying around the house that you could use this won't work for you <laughs> so which brings me to my next tip if you don't have a new account it is okay <laughs> it is okay okay so if you don't have the phones and the phone numbers to make new accounts it is okay it does not mean that you will not win. Which brings me to my next tip and this shoe right here, which I tried to get while I was in the gym. And I have Verizon, Shorty has AT&T. And I tried to get this shoe, right? I went on there at 9.59, was waiting for it to come up at 10. 
went on at 10 and was waiting in line. My shorty asked me, what was I doing? I told her I was trying to get some shoes. I said, you should try too. She tried, she was on the phone, on the uh, gym Wi-Fi. And I explained to her to get off the Wi-Fi because it's probably slowing you up. And it probably took her two to three minutes to get in, but she got in. So she got in and copped the shoe and I didn't cop. Which makes me believe that it has to be all at raffle. So you do not have to rush to get these shoes. You have like a two to three to four minute window at max to get these shoes. You could probably change your information, change your phone number, change your address and still cop these shoes. If somebody went into the site before you, you would still have a chance. You know what I mean? It's all at random. And that's one of the ways I think that they're trying to slow down the bots from copying things or making things at random. Same thing is, same thing with the, the dunks, because every everybody wants to wear ones and everybody wants to wear dunks nowadays. So with the ones also, it's like an eight minute drawing, you know what I mean, before it's over with. They actually do a time limit there. But for Air Jordan ones and things like that, from where I haven't seen a raffle, an exact raffle, and it's just like you have to submit it and wait, you get like a two to three minute window from what I've noticed. So that's when I realized that it was all at random. And that's how I realized that they try to stop the bot. So that's number two. Um, tip number three, which is probably gonna be this shoe right here, which came out about two weeks ago. And look, I hit on back-to-back -back weeks hit on both hype shoes. But on this tip right here, I recall not using Wi-Fi and just staying off the Wi-Fi and clearing out all the apps on my phone. So before this shoe came out, I was basically, I wouldn't say I was I was on Wi-Fi, but when I tried to get the shoe, it made like a circle and it wasn't like filling up to like get past the next point to submit. So I got off the Wi-Fi and started using my cellular connection. And I felt like that helped me get through faster, even though I told you guys prior that it doesn't matter how fast you get in. But if you want to get in, and I feel like if you're trying to like make sure you just have a spot in line, get on it through the regular cellular connection because sometimes Wi-Fi takes a minute to get through. I don't know why, but also have your face ID or thumbprint. Um, face ID, I feel like is a little bit of a lag in between it. Uh, Cause I have a, my girl has the thumbprint and it seems like she gets through instantly when she does it. So I feel like if you have touch ID or face ID, you could get through faster to be waiting in line. So that's another tip and make sure you clean out your data. So nothing in the background, of your phone it should be nothing in the background no porn hub early in the morning nothing should be on your screen in the background but the sneakers app you shouldn't be doing nothing else that early in the morning <laughs> but trying to get shoes on the sneaker app and make sure you turn off your phone and give it a nice hard restart maybe a day or two before to give your phone you know what i mean a better opportunity to be working properly you know what i mean just like us we need sleep so your phone needs sleep too. None of us really restart our phone or hard reset our phone for weeks at a time, maybe until it shuts off by its battery on its own. So make sure you guys start doing that as well to up your chances on winning these shoes. That's my next tip. Um, I'm actually gonna tell you guys about the What The Five. When these came out, I have a video in my YouTube about when I could have copped the What The Fives from a early access so if you watch this video on youtube with the mocha ones you'll see what i'm talking about and that, which is another proof in the pudding of why i believe this method works is you have to engage with the app if you don't engage with the app that's like when you go on instagram and nobody likes your picture nobody comments on your picture nobody saves your picture it doesn't grow you get what i'm saying so you have to engage with the app it makes sense that's why they made the app they want you to engage with it you know what i mean they'll probably have so much more stuff on the app for years to come, but right now you have to engage with the app. You know what I'm saying? And this brings me to my next point. When I was engaging with the app on the What The Five, when it came out, I would just remember looking through, looking through the pictures, looking through how the shoe looks. I was really intrigued with the shoe because I was like, man, I just started out a YouTube channel and I was like, man, I need this shoe. I want to get this shoe to put on my channel early. The resale doesn't look like it's too crazy. I was looking at a whole bunch of YouTube videos. But I remember looking through the app, like constantly looking at the app, looking at different storylines and things like that. And that's how I believe I got early access for that shoe. Now I haven't got early access for any other shoe after that. That was the only shoe I ever got early access for. But I remember to this day that I was on the app, 
like constantly is just looking at that shoe because I wanted to get it early and I had got early access for that shoe even though I didn't get it because <laughs> I didn't realize I could even get early access so that is definitely proof that if you're looking at something or really want a shoe start engaging with the app a few days before it does not hurt to you know what I mean see what the app is giving look at the storylines of the app it could help you out um so don't take it out of proportion but I mean you could spend five ten minutes to look at the app so that's one of my last tips but when this shoe came out which is the most hyped up shoe to date which came out last weekend I just remember being on the app and just telling myself man I can I can really win this so I don't know if it starts with you know how much money I don't think it matters how much money you spend into the app and whatnot Nike doesn't really care about that I just really believe it's a whole bunch of a luck thing and you just have to get lucky honestly <laughs> there's no there's no nothing you just have to get lucky so yeah that's pretty much it um thank you guys for watching the video like comment subscribe and show your boy some love